Hi everyone, how y'all doing today? I've got my first side-by-side -side comparison for you today and um, I think this, for you gals out there that have problem with lift and volume in your hair, if you have perhaps real fine thin hair like I do, or even maybe going bald like I am, um, I have found a couple products that work excellent. Now, I am always on the hunt, always, for something that will make my hair look like I have more than I do left, you know, and in my Saturday, no, Friday favorites, no, actually, it was January favorites, I'm in my January favorites video, I told you about the organics, biotin, and collagen, and this is a, um, it's an amplifying lotion made with provitamin B7 biotin, um, infuses nutrients into all your hair while it, um, you know, plumps with hydrolyzed wheat proteins and collagen, and uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good product. In fact, it's very good. I, I liked it very much. And this is, it's from the Organics brand, the Organics line. And you know, those, those are the, I don't know, they probably have uh, five or six, five or six different lines out at all the drugstores in Walmart and they have like the coconut milk one and the awapui or however that's called the um, Hawaiian uh, fruit one and, and you know they're they're good products I really like them and I had been using this for a couple months and I was really happy with it and so I told you guys all about it you know for anybody out there who might want your hair plumped up well then the other day I was at CVS and I noticed in their flyer they had L'Oreal products three for twelve dollars, which you know obviously it breaks down to about four bucks a piece. L'Oreal products are usually around for the big bottles, anyways. They're like five sixty nine or so at Walmart, and then the hair pro, you know, the the styling products are usually around six to six fifty. Well, I found that it's their new one. It's the newest one that came out in that colorful line that they have. They've got a a pink one that is for, it's like a triple resist, the triple resist line, and then they have um, a blue one that's hyaluronic moisture, and then uh, like a light purple one that's made for color treated hair, and then the tan line is um, total five repair, which, you know, if you got total five repair, why do you need all the other ones, right? Right. Anyways. <laughs> so, this is the new one that they came out with, and this is the Volume Filler Line, and it's made specifically for people that want a little bit of volume in their hair. And I picked up the shampoo and conditioner, and this Volume Filler Densifying Jelly. Now, supposedly this stuff has got a, a product in it called Phylloxane. I'm assuming that L'Oreal, you know, L'Oreal scientists came up with that. And it smells really good, and I was kind of skeptical to try it because... I don't know, It. I tried the L'Oreal, the um, color treatment line for a while, and it didn't seem like it really kept my hair from fading out and my gray showing through. So I was kind of skeptical to try this. Plus, I opened it when I was in the store and smelled it, and it's got, it's got a really strong, harsh kind of smell, like overblown perfumey to the point where it smells bad, and I like a good scent. But I will say this before I forget, once you put it in your hair when it's wet, you know, and then blow dry it out, it doesn't smell like that anymore. It dissipates and all you have left with nice, clean smelling hair. So that does go away. So I brought this home and I tried them and I was amazed at the results that I got. So I thought, well, I wonder if it's just this jelly or if it's, um, you know, the whole line that I'm using. So I just used my regular old, gosh, I think I might have used Bugs and Rick Suave or something for a couple of days just so that I knew I was putting you know the least on my hair that I could for a few days and then use this as well and still still mega volume um, I have it in my hair now I, I left my hair without curling it today just so that I could show you what kind of volume I have and in the pictures that I am inserting you can see the first one was without anything in my hair just after I washed it and let it dry um, that was without anything and then the second picture is with this product and then the third picture is with this one. So you can definitely see the difference that you're getting. Now, if you're somebody who has, um, you know, thick hair but want a little bit more volume, this would be an excellent product for you. Um, this one costs a little bit more than this. Um, this one's around, I don't know, I think, uh, actually, no, if I remember correctly, I've seen them both at Walmart. At CVS, this one was more, but at Walmart, they're about the same price, which is anywhere between 5 and $6. 
Um, but you're getting like an ounce more with this one than you are with this one. And this one's much thicker. Let me show you the textures, okay? So the Organics one is just a real thin, um, a real thin uh, serum, like something you might even put on your face. It's so thin, okay? And the L'Oreal one is a very thick jelly. If you can see that, if I did that with the Organics one, it would drip down. It's a very thick jelly. Well, not real thick, but, you know, it's a jelly, so it's not going to run everywhere like the other one does. Um, I have done a lot of work with both of these, you know, to see which one I was, and I've even used them in conjunction with each other. And I didn't get extra volume by using them both at the same time. I'm having a hard time not looking at my viewfinder. It's kind of tripping me up here. Um, but I did try both of them for a you know, a very reasonable amount of time to give you guys a good idea of which one I think is better or are they comparable and they are not comparable. They are not comparable. This one, it worked well when it was all that I had found um, and, and I was happy to use it, but I did use quite a bit of it. It says to use a dime size dollop in your hair um, and it doesn't say to use it according to your length either. It just says a dime size dollop. And I would end up using five or six pumps, you know, to get as much as I wanted in there to get the volume that I wanted. Well, with this one, <laughs> I use as little as I possibly can, um, usually about a quarter size. I rub it all over my hands like this, and then I just squish it through my hair, and then I rub it, you know, like this, and just make, make sure I get it through all my hair, and I pull it through to the ends of the strands, and um, then I blow dry it out, and it is beautiful. I am so happy that I found this. I'm so glad that L'Oreal put something out that it does exactly what it says that it does. Now this one, it says that it has, um, I wrote down, I looked it all up and wrote down a little bit to see if I could find, um, yeah, see, and I couldn't find any, I, I couldn't find any particular ingredients that were in this one besides the phylloxane, whereas this one tells you that it's got the hydrolyzed wheat protein, um, it's got B7 biotin in it, um, you know, collagen, and this one's got a lot of good stuff for your hair in it, and this I couldn't really find a whole lot besides the phylloxane, but to be honest with you, um, the, the goodies that I when I when when it comes to my hair, I put all of my goodies in with the masks and the vitamins that I take. Um, you know, when it comes to styling tools, I'm really not except for my heat protected. Then that one I'm kind of anal retentive about, because you know when you got to blow dry your hair to put volume in it, and yeah, you want a good heat protectant. But when it comes to style, styling products, I'm not really that particular. As long as it works and it doesn't leave my hair in a way that I don't want it to be, then I'm cool with that, you know, or it's not damaging it. Neither one of these leave your hair any kind of sticky, tacky, um, firm, filmy, nothing like that. Once you have it on and blow dry your hair out, you can't even tell it's there. Literally, there's no... Um, you know, I've tried a lot that even after it blow dried, it would be nice and movable and pliable and everything would look great. But when you run your hand over your hair, you could feel kind of like a film or something. I can't handle that. <laughs> I just can't handle that. Um, it's got to be completely invisible yet still do its job, which, you know, some pretty big criteria to hold up to. And this one does it. Actually, they both do. But this one here, way more volume than I got with this one. And like I said, I did try it without the shampoos and I still got just as good of, you know, I think the shampoos probably help over time infusing that into your hair. Um, you know, washing it, every, I wash my hair every day. So I think over time using it would plump it up on a per, more permanent basis. Well, permanent for as long as you're using the product anyways. Whereas this one is just a, a you know, treatment that works while you use it. So, um, that is my side-by-side. -side. The prices are pretty comparative, although you are getting a little over an ounce more with this one. Um, this one's also a little bit easier, or this one's a little bit easier to work with because it's a little more fluid. I'm going to turn it around for you. It's a little more fluid, you know, but I don't find that to be any kind of a problem. Even though this is a jelly, it's a, it's not like, um, what can I compare this to? It's, it's just like a regular old styling gel, except it doesn't leave your hair, you know, it doesn't have any kind of a hold to it or anything like that. Um, it's just a leave-in treatment for fine, thin hair. Weightless Treatment Styler. 
blowout volume. That's all it says. And again, it's in the dark purple. Um, actually, you know what this reminded me of? This reminded me of the um, uh, Pantone's color of the year. <laughs> and I almost kind of think they did that. And what is that? Um, orchid, uh, Radiant Orchid. I think that's what I, I tried to find my most, my closest radiant orchid and put that on my pinkies. But this is, this is a pretty close for a radiant orchid. It's almost got like an iridescent hue to it. They're really pretty. Anyways, so there's my side-by-sides. This is an excellent product. I couldn't be happier with it. Look at all this hair I have. Or well, look at all the hair that it looks like I have. Woohoo! <laughs> um, this works very well. I would say that this would be more for somebody who already has thick hair. You just want a little bit more volume in it. Um, and this one is for somebody who has got a situation like I going on where, like I got going on where I don't almost have any hair whatsoever. So I need to make it, you know, stand out as much as I can with what I have. And that's what this product does. So I'm pretty happy about both of them. Um, you know, so there you go. I hope that this helps somebody out there. I know there's a lot of you ladies that I've been watching where you've spoken about your hair getting thinner as you get older. Um, I've got not only age working against me, but the lupus is making my hair fall out. And anybody that knows any about it, anybody that knows anything about that disease knows that it, stress is is like one of the things that makes it ten times worse is stress. Well, I've got four daughters. I got four daughters and I'm raising a grandson. What are you what are you telling me stress is gonna kill me? <laughs> Adios everybody. I hardly knew ye. <laughs> okay. I love you all. Thank you for watching. And um I know that my I told you about my series uh, well I wrote it in a down bar in my second to the last video, and I think I spoke a little bit about it. Um and today, Monday, was supposed to be my DIY. <laughs> And yesterday was supposed to be the side-by-side, -side, whereas today I'm on the side-by-side. -side. Tomorrow will be the DIY. And then starting, you know, in a couple days, I will get all on track and all my videos will be hitting the mark like they're supposed to. Um, I've had... <laughs> I... I just had a heck of a weekend. It, the weekend was supposed to be relaxing and, and fun and it just so was not. So... Anyways, I'm getting back on track, and I'm bringing you guys what you want to see. I've got your requests, so I'm going to be doing some uh, facial DIYs. The first DIY I'm doing tomorrow is a Benjamin brush tree. So if you want to know how to make your own tree, it's not nearly as pretty, and, you know, it's not a Benjamin brush tree, but it will get the job done if you don't have the 30 40 bucks to spend on the tree. So there you go. Watch for that video tomorrow, and... Um, a big shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for being here. And um, I will see you tomorrow in my first DIY video. If you haven't already rated or commented or subscribed, please do so. All my information is in the down bar. If you in, in the down bar, if you want to follow me on, you know, all those other social media sites, I would love to see you there. Um, bye.